A new South Korean documentary delves into the issue of divided Korean families. It recounts how thousands of people were forced to leave their families during the Korean War and have since been unable to return home even for a visit because of the division and tensions that exist between the two Koreas. The documentary interviewed over 100 separated family members, most are now in their 70s or 80s, and focuses on the emotional pain they still carry. The key message that we wanted to deliver through this program is the value of family, putting aside political issues or policy-related issues. The official reunions that have been held since 2000 are sometimes canceled because of inter-Korean tensions. The North Korean side has been more restrictive in allowing and monitoring the reunions and has been more overt at trying to use them for propaganda purposes. There were a lot of journalists from North Korea who were trying to take photos of me, saying hooray, or writing some thank you note to the North Korean leader, but I didn't respond. In the past, activists arranged unofficial reunions, mostly in China near the North Korean border, but increased security has made it more difficult and risky. Now they are appealing to both Koreas to put aside their political differences on this issue. When it comes to the reunions of the separated families, we actually have to think of this as a basic human right. Yet with tensions mounting over a possible North Korea long-range ballistic missile test soon, there are no signs that the two sides are ready to stop playing politics with separated families. Brian Padden, VOA News, Seoul.